The red carpet doesn't discriminate in the romance department, at least not when it comes to the number of candles on a beau's birthday cake. Need proof? Here's a sampling of celebs who married women young enough to be their daughters. Despite their 26-year age difference, Rod Stewart and Penny Lancaster truly seem like the real deal. In 2017, the lovebirds celebrated their 10th wedding anniversary by renewing their vows in a quaint ceremony at their 45-acre Essex home. According to Hello!, they were joined by their two sons, as well as five of Stewart's children from other relationships. Back in 2011, Lancaster, who had a brief stint on Strictly Come Dancing, helped Stewart reach a major life milestone, according to Rolling Stone. At the age of 66, he became a father for the eighth time. And as the Daily Mail reported, he's the kind of dad who picks his kids up from school in a Ferrari. Richard Gere, the pretty woman legend, and Alejandra Silva, a gorgeous Spanish activist and publicist, secretly wed in a 2018 civil ceremony. Gere was 68 and Silva was 35, but those decades didn't make much of a difference for the couple. According to People magazine, they had been dating since 2014. This marriage is Gere's third and Silva's second, so it's understandable they'd want to keep the ceremony under wraps. Word on the street is they plan to celebrate their nuptials with family and friends at a later date in New York. Gear told Ola, I have found the quiet and happy life that I have always sought. As of April 2019, legendary funny man Eddie Murphy and Australian model and actress Paige Butcher, who is 18 years younger than him, haven't announced that they are officially married. However, according to People magazine, the couple started dating in 2012, got engaged in 2018, and welcomed a son in December 2018. The baby boy was Paige's second with Murphy and Murphy's 10th. Yes, you heard that right! The Shrek star has eight other kids with four other women, so clearly this dad has been busy over the years. The brightest part of my life is my kids. My relationship with them and my world revolves around them. The feeling is apparently mutual, at least, according to a source close to the couple, who told People, They are all about family. Paige is very close with Eddie's kids. They vacation and spend holidays together. Paige loves being a mom and is very involved. Sadly, Star Trek star William Shatner has endured a rather dark love life. He's been married four times, but his third wife tragically drowned in the couple's swimming pool in 1999 after battling alcohol addiction, according to the Daily Mail. Shatner did manage to recover from the tragedy, undoubtedly with the love and support of horse trainer Elizabeth Martin. They wed in 2001, when she was 42 and he was 69. He told The Guardian, I was attracted by her beauty first of all, which was an old syndrome for me, and I think I lucked out because she had so many other qualities as well. Larry King knows his way around a marriage. The late-night TV host has been married eight times. And it sounds like his marriage to Sean Southwick, who's young enough to be his daughter, may be as troubled as the rest. Because Larry is agnostic, and I'm a faithful, you know, Christian. According to Page Six, in 2016, rumors emerged that Southwick, who's 26 years younger than the TV host, had been carrying on a year-long affair with public speaking guru Richard Green. King brushed off the rumors in public, but behind the scenes, he was allegedly torn about whether or not to stay with his wife of 19 years. People reported that they also had filed for divorce in 2010, but reconciled three months later. Despite all this, the couple has looked pretty happy on the red carpet in recent years. So perhaps all this bad press is much ado about nothing. Funny man Steve Martin married former New Yorker staff writer Anne Stringfield in a private ceremony in 2007, as People reported. Though Stringfield is 26 years younger than the Saturday Night Live star, that didn't stop them from starting a family. Martin became a first-time father to a baby girl at the age of 67. Stringfield was 41. Martin said he felt like this was the perfect time to have kids because he would have been a bit too selfish about his career if it had happened earlier in life. He told The Daily Telegraph, Oh, it's fantastic. You have all the time in the world. You're all set and secure in life, and you're not building your career, so you have a lot of time." Kate Walsh may not be proud of the way her marriage to Fraser star Kelsey Grammer began because it reportedly had a role in ending his 13-year marriage to TV personality Camille Grammer. Kelsey and Camille's marriage was far from private. It played out on cable TV during the first season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. My whole life was falling apart. My husband left me, he was having an affair with another woman in New York City while I'm filming a reality show." That woman was Walsh. They got married in 2011, just two weeks after he finalized his divorce from Camille. Walsh was just 29 years old, and Kelsey was 55 at the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I'm not proud of the way we started out. Because you were and he was in a marriage. Let's face it, Solange Knowles' music career exists in Beyoncé's shadow. But there's one arena where Solange has Beyoncé beat, marrying older dudes. Beyoncé, of course, is married to Jay-Z, who is 12 years older than her. Solange bested that age gap when she hooked up with music video director Alan Ferguson, who is 23 years her senior. Solange was so crazy in love with Alan that they tied the knot in New Orleans in 2014, when she was 28 and he was 51, according to the New York Times. The pair was introduced by rocker Pete Wentz and R&B star Janelle Monae. 
and Solange was the one to pursue him first. I have always sort of historically been one of those girls that goes after something that I'm into. I'm not very old school. Though Nicolas Cage's previous wives, Lisa Marie Presley and Patricia Arquette, are close to the National Treasure star in age, his third wife, Alice Kim, is two decades his junior. According to Today, Cage met Kim, a sushi waitress, at the Los Angeles restaurant where she worked. The romance was a whirlwind. They got engaged after two short months and wed in 2004, when he was 40 and she was 20. Alas, after 11 years of marriage, which we can only assume was tested by endless action movie premieres that started all blending together, Kim reportedly split from her movie star beau. Kevin Costner's second wife, Christine Baumgartner, may be nearly 20 years younger, but Costner was reportedly willing to do anything to make it work, even if that meant being a stay-at-home dad. A 49-year-old Costner wed his 30-year-old flame in a private ceremony at his home in Aspen, Colorado, in 2004, according to CBS News. Six years later, the star found himself taking an extended break from Hollywood to help raise their three babies. Costner admitted to The Telegraph that he had doubts about growing his family so late in life. He was 55 years old by the time his youngest was born, but he was also at a place in his career where he could pick and choose his roles. Now, he says he only takes the projects he really wants and spends the rest of his time and energy on his family. He explained, the one thing I pray for in life is not success, but being able to raise my children and that nothing happens to me in the next 20 years. I want it to be me who tells them about the secrets, the beauty, the treachery, and everything that is in life." French actor Vincent Cassel was married to Italian bombshell Monica Bellucci for 14 years before their divorce in 2013. The international superstars are two years apart in age. Cassell eventually rebounded with Tina Kunike, a French model who was born when he was 30 years old and just eight years older than his first daughter with Bellucci. Cassell and Kunike wed in August 2018, but not before Cassell offered some eyebrow-raising thoughts on the dynamics of their age gap. Speaking with The New York Times a few weeks before his second nuptials, Cassell said, "...at any age, men have this ability to start a new life. Women do not." Yikes. He added, "...it's not always fair. I'm 52 and I'm getting married with a 21-year-old girl. I'm very much in love and sure we are going to make babies." Bob Saget's house got a little fuller. According to People, the sitcom dad tied the knot with TV host Kelly Rizzo in October 2018. The pair share a 23-year age gap, and though Saget can claim a senior discount at more than a few restaurants, that doesn't mean he can't party hard. Actor Jonathan Silverman officiated the ceremony, which ultimately led to a huge dance party later on at the reception. It even included a serenade from John Mayer, who is somehow the comedian's very close friend despite the fact that he's young enough to be his son. Some of Saget's Fuller House co-stars were also reportedly in attendance. Despite the massive party that was Saget's wedding, the proposal during a weekend trip to Big Sur was a bit more ho-hum. We were watching Stranger Things on my iPad, and I wanted to propose. We've been there for four days, went into the safe, took out the ring, went to the bathroom. You know, that's romantic. That's one serious Netflix and chill. David Hasselhoff was taking things slow at first with his younger beauty, Haley Roberts. According to The Sun, it took seven years for the Hoff to pop the question to the store clerk turned model. Why the wait? The age difference was apparently a major factor. Hasselhoff is nearly 28 years older than Roberts. The Baywatch star reportedly opened up about the age gap in 2015, saying, "...to be honest, the reason I haven't got married yet is because I know it's not going to be a perfect relationship. We're not going to grow old together, let's face it. Sometimes I think I love her enough to say, go and find a man of your age and have a life." According to the Daily Mail, Roberts also had her reservations about the age gap, but the Hoff's charms were more than enough to overcome them. She told OK Magazine, "...David acts so much younger. He doesn't see his age. I'm probably older than my years. I don't feel like he's that much older than me." The pair tied the knot in a small Italian ceremony in July 2018. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.